channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are new here, go ahead and hit subscribe button and join my YouTube family. But for today's video, you probably realised that we are in a different setup today. We are actually in my new apartment that I moved into in Manchester. That is also the reason for me not posting very often at the moment, but that's about to change because I'm on my A game again, I'm back, I'm in a new space, I'm feeling so motivated. And yeah, today's video, I'm going to be hosting. So my friends are coming around, Lucy and Pip. They're my support bubble at the moment with me living alone. And yeah, they're gonna come around, we're gonna have fajitas, they're gonna stay for like a bit later on. We're gonna watch a film. We're gonna have chips and dip. Is that what you call it? I don't know. But yeah, I'm hosting tonight. So that is what all of this stuff is here. So I'm gonna take you guys along like the prep and I'm gonna catch you guys up because I've got so much to talk about. I'm just so excited. But anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys closer and we're gonna get on into the video. If you like these kind of videos, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what videos you wanna see from me. Now I've moved and if you guys want to see my place a little bit more and yeah right now I am just loving life because right in front of me I have got a beautiful view and I'm loving it don't get me wrong rainy Manchester we love that but still a beautiful view grateful I'm just so happy right now guys like I'm so grateful for like life and <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get on into the video and yeah hope you guys enjoy Okay, so I've brought you like quite a lot closer now, come this side of my kitchen. And first of all, I'm just gonna like cut up the chicken, because we're having chicken fajitas. I'm gonna take you through the prep. I've literally just washed my hands, put my hair back, all that good stuff. But, as you can see behind me on my new home cards, we love that. But I'm just gonna get the stuff out of the fridge that I need. And I've just remembered, I've got onions, so that means my eyes are gonna water. My little chopping boards, which I'm gonna wash. So basically, I hate cu cutting raw chicken because it just knocks me sick. But, ew, I don't know what it is, like I just hate it. Like I just hate it so much. But I'm gonna cut all like the nasty bits off. Yeah, this knife is not doing it. Don't you use scissors to cut chicken? Or am I, am I making that up? Do you use scissors? I don't know. I'm using a knife now anyway. Yeah, so if you haven't watched my recent like life update video, you won't know that I actually moved to Manchester. I have moved here alone. I don't really know many people here, if I'm honest. But I actually love that. Like, I love the fact that I'm getting a new start, like, meeting new people, like, new experiences. And um, I've actually got a job here too, which I mentioned in my last video, which I don't actually start that job until... I'm sorry if that's an annoying noise as well, but yeah, I don't actually start that job until the 24th. So right now I'm pretty sure it's the, Monday is the 17th anyway, and right now it is Wednesday. So basically I've still got like way over a week. And yeah, I'm so, so excited. Like I am excited to start my new job. I'm excited to get in a new routine. But this week I actually started a new gym, which, some people would be really really scary like I'm not gonna lie like I don't really love going to new gyms like that I don't know especially like I went on my own like I've done everything on my own here which I'm not gonna lie I'm so so proud of myself because I've not relied on anyone to like help me get anywhere or anything like that because if you guys don't know I've actually left my car at home because I've not got a parking space in this building because I'm on the waiting list for one but yeah I basically have been getting the trams and stuff everywhere, which is a new experience for me in itself, which I'm actually really enjoying. Like, it's not that bad at all. Like, I thought it would be a lot scarier. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I've never used the tram before. Obviously, because in Chester, where I'm from, like, that's, like, you don't use the trams. Do you know what I mean? So, basically, I've been to a new gym this week, starting all that good stuff, like, basically getting in a routine again which I love like I'm a sucker for routine like I literally love routine so much but one thing I do want to touch on like obviously with living alone now like you're always coming back to like your own place do you know what I mean like no one's here like it's just coming back to like I know that no one's going to be here which I like and also like don't get me wrong this I'm not talking negative about living here because I absolutely love it 
But obviously, even at home, like if I was doing my own thing, I'd always come home and there'd be someone there. Or if no one was there, then they would be later on. But I, I suppose that's just what I kind of need to get used to. But like Pip and Lucy literally live around the corner from me. They live, I think it's seven minutes away. Like it's literally around the corner. So if I ever like did want to see people or like anything like that, they literally live around the corner. And obviously we're doing this little cute girls night tonight. Love all that good stuff. And like literally I'm loving it here. Like the weekends here are so fun. Like there's literally so much to do. Sorry, I just need to wash my hands for a minute because chicken does freak me out. I can't lie. Like raw chicken just does freak me out. I'm just trying not to think about it. Like really trying not to think about this right now. So if you guys didn't know, I was actually a vegetarian for six years. Most of the chicken goes in the bin. I can't lie because I just cut a lot of it off. Like I'd rather just buy more chicken and just like literally cut half the chicken off because it just, bleh, no. Anything that looks a little bit freaky, straight in the bin. Like I'm really fussy with meat as it is. And like if it looks a little bit, bleh, ew, do you know when you see like a little bit of blood and like it hits you that like this is real? This is why I was a vegetarian for so long, but you know, I'm going off on a tangent now. Anyways, yeah, so basically, as I was saying, I'm getting into a routine now of like going to the gym and all that good stuff. So I thought this was a perfect time to like continue filming. I just, to be honest, didn't want to put pressure on myself to film while I was stressed before I moved. Because I feel like you can really tell when someone's not feeling it. Do you know what I mean? Like I've watched, like if you watch certain people, you can tell when they're just not in the mood to film. And like, I didn't want that to come across because I do this because I enjoy it. Like I don't, like that's why I do this. And if I'm not enjoying it, then what's the point? So basically that is where I have been. But just to let you guys know, I'm having so much fun living here. Like last night, I um, I had a pretty much a chill day yesterday, but then I FaceTimed my Ew, I'm sorry, but this chicken is freaking me out. Yeah, so I FaceTimed my um, parents last night and my uh, nan actually came around while I was on FaceTime. So I got to speak to all of them and my auntie and cousin were in the car. So obviously I got to see them. And also they are coming, my nan, my sister and my mum are coming to Manchester for the day on next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we're gonna try and book some other food because at that point, restaurants will be open um, indoors. So, and also, I feel like I've got so much like exciting things to look forward to at the moment here. Like, people are coming to see me, or like we're doing stuff for like people that already live here. But yeah, my best friend is coming down on the twenty. Is it the twenty ninth? Basically, the weekend of the twenty fourth because. It's her birthday and I'm going to make sure it is so fun and so extra because she deserves it. She's an absolute queen. I love her so much. Caitlin, shout out to you. Yeah, I'm going to make that super fun and obviously by that point we'll be allowed indoors places. So I've booked a few things that she doesn't know about yet. Um, just a few little surprises for my girl. But yeah, I'm so excited for her to come here because obviously she's seen my place. Like I've shown her on FaceTime and on videos and stuff, but it's, do you know it's different? Like when you come and see it, like it's just so different. But yeah, I'm excited for that. And obviously for my mom, sister and my nan to come. And obviously my dad will be coming down at some point, but he's obviously in work in the week. So that is why he can't come down when my nan, sister and my mom do. But yeah, like right now, I'm loving Manchester. Absolutely loving it. Sorry that I'm not looking at the camera, by the way. Just trying to dissect this chicken. And to be honest, it's freaking the life out of me. Like I tried to look for like ready, like cut up chicken because this ain't for me. Like this is adulting. Like if, like this is one of the biggest things for me. Like I feel like I might not be able to eat any of this chicken. I can't lie. Like because I've now seen it, like raw it puts me off like does anyone else get like that let me know in the comments if you get like that because ew like i can't wait to get onto cutting the peppers because right now this ain't it like no like don't get me wrong like i know obviously it's not going to be the most beautiful thing to look at but it just looks so like you can tell this is meat you know and this is coming from someone that eats like vegetarian like as often as possible. Like I was a vegetarian for six years, like I was saying, but it can go in the bin. Like I was saying, I was a vegetarian for six years, but 
basically the reason I stopped being vegetarian was because my iron was so so low and I wasn't really eating at that point there was not really many vegetarian options so I was literally eating like not much at all and I was getting like no nutrients and that's basically why I had to start eating meat and chicken is pretty much the only meat I eat um now but yeah I eat like vegetarian as much as I possibly can just because I prefer it like I eat soy burgers a lot like when I say a lot I mean like almost every every night <laughs> for tea because I just love them like I get them from Tesco they are very nice I love them um yeah so as I'm saying I've started going to a new gym here it's literally just a pure gym but it's ew is that a boon no sorry no what should there be a bone in my chicken i'm not obviously going to show any of this on camera because it's absolutely gross and no one wants to see that but anyways let me just stop being a baby yeah so i basically started going to the gym it's actually just a pure gym but it's like genuinely like two tram stops away from me so it's so so close like it's the easiest option and i usually hate pure gym like i hate pure gym in chester i can't lie like i hate it so much but the pure gym here like the one i go to obviously there's loads in manchester but the one i go to was actually like really good like it's it's big it's spacious the time i've been going hasn't been too busy and like i say it's literally right down the road so like it's so convenient for me i'm getting back into the routine of like obviously having a routine and i love it like i literally love it you know what i'm gonna finish this chicken and i'm gonna come back i came back i'm gonna cut off the peppers because that obviously won't freak me out, I'm not gonna lie. I've just had a moment after putting the chicken. I just had to sit down for a minute, you know what I mean? Like, I just had to be like, whoa, that was some brave shit I just did. Oh, sorry, probably have to blow, blow that out. That was some brave stuff I just did. Now for the fun bit, because love me some pepper and onion. I mean, the fun bit is definitely not putting the onion because, let's be honest, my eyes will be streaming. But yeah, how have we all been? Like, I have been having the time of my life, not gonna lie. Um, obviously right now I'm not working so like I said I'm just enjoying Manchester at the moment the sun's actually come out right now and it looks so beautiful but let's be honest we're probably gonna have rain again in about 10 minutes that's fair you can see me a bit more now yeah so the weather here has not been great like it's been raining all the time but I mean we're in Manchester what can I expect but yeah as you guys know like obviously i've moved here alone and i honestly thought that i'd be more lonely than like i feel like i don't even feel lonely at all like i'm not gonna lie this building feels very like active like this building feels like i can tell there's people around me and stuff like that which i love like i didn't want it to feel like it was just me do you know what i mean like isolated like i've i've not met people here but like i've seen people in the left you know like you keep kind of seeing it's just tomorrow I'd be like hi like hi and also on the weekend um me and my friend went out and we met some people which was great because like i literally love meeting new people like especially because i've moved obviously to a new city where i know pretty much no one and lucy and pippa my two friends they're not from here either they're from down south so they only moved here a month ago so between us we don't really know that many people but yeah we're just kind of like enjoying it at the moment like obviously we've got each other like i don't feel alone here at all like i'm saying i just i love it you know like i really love it and i can honestly see myself being here for a long time obviously i'm literally first week in so who knows but i really love it here like i wake up in a good mood like i wake up so motivated and it's great like it's literally so good because i honestly feel like so much had kind of not happened because there was nothing deep that happened at, like at home but like i've been there my whole life and it was like kind of time to move on like in my 20s like i'm gonna start my 20s fresh obviously you guys know i turned 20 in january so like i just want to be here like enjoy my life like especially while we're coming out of lockdown like everything's opening back up like manchester actually feels so much more active than chester did I know I'm literally only down the road, like Chester's like 45 minutes down the road, but it just feels so like different and like the vibe's just good. Like I love it so much. Like I honestly feel like, do you know when you go somewhere and you feel like you're meant to be there? Like I feel like I'm meant to be here. 
Um, some people don't believe in that stuff, but I do. Like, I honestly feel like I'm meant to live here. I'm loving it. And, like, don't get me wrong, like, it is so weird, obviously, not being with my family. But I text and call my mum and dad, like, every day. I message my sister all day, every day. Like, I've been in contact with them, like, non-stop. So, it doesn't feel weird in that way. Like, and I absolutely love this place that I'm in. Like, I might even give you guys a little tour at the end. But, if not follow my instagram because i post it on my instagram all the time my instagram will be linked down below but yeah like the view from this place is just beautiful like i honestly think that's what makes me wake up in such a good mood because i'm such a view person like i love a good view like you know what i'm gonna show you guys right now what i'm looking at the sun has just come out too so this is my view from my window and like can you even like this is my view from my window Sorry, I just had to have a moment to appreciate to show you guys because I love it and as you can probably tell that's what's making me so motivated. Like I'm in such a good mood, like and I'm so grateful for all the people I have around me. Like I've got the most amazing family, the most amazing friends, and like I've not like felt this happy in a long time. Like a long, long time. Like it's great, it's actually great. And like it's one of those things that like you've got to think like when people from home like it kind of shows you as well like who actually supports you and like who actually like wants to be in your life because I know for a fact if my friends moved somewhere like that would not stop me being in contact with them and I know my real friends like my best friend Caitlin like no matter where we are in the world we'll always have each other do you know what I mean like that that's the kind of friendship you need in your life um maybe I'm just blabbing on right now I do that a lot I just talk pure rubbish like to me i'm just in my feels right now and like this isn't talking to rubbish to what <laughs> this isn't talking rubbish to me like i know what i'm on about this is not me chatting a load of rubbish but to you guys it might sound like i am so if that ain't your kind of thing then i probably should have warned at the start of this video that i'm just going to be blabbing on like <laughs> loving life because that's just me right now that's, that's just what we'd be doing right now. Yeah, so as I was saying, Caitlin's my best friend. She's coming down on, I think it's the 29th. I'm pretty sure anyway. So basically for her birthday. And I'm so excited. Like, I don't know if to vlog the whole thing. Like, because I'll see how she's feeling about it. If I'm going to, like, vlog it. But I'm so excited for her to be here. Like, she deserves the world. Like, that girl actually does. Like, she's been there for me through everything like absolutely love that girl to pieces but yeah like she's my ride or die <laughs> but yeah anyways so she's coming down and she basically obviously doesn't know what i planned for her but i hope she enjoys it because we go and have a good day but yeah so i planned something in the day and also like in the evening but yeah I'm really struggling what to actually get her for her birthday though because she's not picky but she also is like in clothes and stuff so we also have completely different fashion sense so I don't really know what clothes to get her but yeah if you have any ideas for Caitlin drop them down in the comments yeah so I'm so excited to see her I had a FaceTime call with her last night for literally like two hours we always do this we're like oh it's just a quick catch up and then you know two hours later still quick catching up but yeah, anyways, actually, you know what I do want to talk about? This is a moment where I just turn to the camera for a second. The other day, basically, I was watching Madison Sarah's stories and I heard her talking about, like, men, like, catcalling and all that good stuff. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, obviously, I've experienced that in Chester. Like, I feel like you experience that anywhere, sadly. But Manchester is a different ball game. Like, the other day, I was waiting to get on the tram and I was literally i mean it doesn't matter what you're wearing anyway but i was literally wearing like joggers pretty much similar to what i'm wearing now like i wasn't wearing anything revealing not that that excuses it anyway but like literally was just in joggers like do you know what i mean and these workmen were on the opposite side luckily of like the tram and we weren't going to get on the same tram but like they were on the opposite side and do you know like when you can just sense they're gonna say something because like i'm a girl like i was on my own clearly a young girl and yeah so there was this group of three men and they were all in like houses do you know what i mean like clearly like just finished work or like working or whatever but i was obviously on my own just chilling just trying to mind my own business and this one guy just goes oi look at her look at her no honestly like look at her and i was just thinking oh no like they're on about me because there was literally one other guy on the same side as me and he was like nah look at her mate honestly look at her 
and I was just like, ew, like at this point I was not even looking at them, I just looked head down like in my phone like, oh no, like please don't, like don't do this right now. And yeah, so I was just obviously trying not to pay attention. And he was like, oi, oi, you, over there. Yeah, you, blondie. And I was like, what? I was like, can their tram hurry up and come, please? At this point, I could see their tram come in. So I was like, thank God for that. And he was like, oi, fitty, you coming over here then? I was like, what? What the hell? But I literally like, do you know when you're just like, I was not giving them any kind of attention back. I wasn't even, didn't even hold, I didn't even lift my head up. So I don't know what he was getting from that. But then his mates were like whistling as well. And I was just like, ew, like just stop. I just think like one of, like two of the guys were older, like probably like my dad's age. And then the one that was younger, that was actually shouting, I'd say he was like late twenties, maybe 30. Yeah, so like, the youngest one was probably like late 20s like maybe 30 and i was just a bit like like what like have you not got better things to do like than to be standing and shouting to me like when i'm not even entertaining it you know like i'm not even looking at you so like just leave it do you know what i mean like and this is just like this is obviously i think majority of my viewers are girls but like if there is one single man even on here right now just to let you know, catcalling is not impressive, it's not cool, like, don't do it, like, don't be that guy, like, literally don't, because, like, I'm quite a confident person, do you know what I mean, like, I go everywhere on my own, pretty much, like, I love doing things on my own, obviously, I live here alone, but, like, if I wasn't as confident as a, of a person, like, that could have really knocked me, do you know what I mean, that could have really, like, affected me, like, going, that could have been my first time going out somewhere on my own, and then that's just really, like, pushed me back, you know, so, like, just to let you know, that's not cool, that's not okay, so just don't do it, because, who are you really impressing, no one, like, your little workmates were probably, like, having a laugh with you, but you look like a real idiot, not gonna lie, like, not impressive, not impressive, because I also think, like, my dad wouldn't do that my uncles wouldn't do that so like why are you weird men out here doing it like just stop just stop like why is this even still a thing that's why i don't get like is that even still a thing i don't know anyways on that note i'm gonna come back when i'm cutting onion <laughs> okay i'm back after an emotional situation with an onion my eyes have just been streaming so basically i've put the peppers and onions and chicken and print prep there i've got my wraps my fajita um seasoning all that good stuff set up on this side like where the stove is stove that's what you call it isn't it anyways i basically need my water i've got when i say some goodies i've got quite a few because i thought you know obviously the girls are coming over watching a film later they're bringing like a cheese board i think and crackers who knows but obviously you need sweets do you know what i mean like you just have to so i'm gonna wash these bowls out first because i've not used them yet so be be okay so now we have like all the bowls and stuff like washed and dried so basically i've got like salsa and guacamole and stuff like that in the fridge but i'm obviously going to leave that in there till later but i've got like some tortilla chips so i'm going to put them in this big one here um i'm going to cover them over obviously but i'm going to put them in there i've got two bags because i'm extra and there are three of us so that's what she knows this is so many wait i'm just gonna do that for now and i've got the rest in the cupboard i can always top them up so i'll cover those over in a bit so i've got them i also got like caribou's random sweets like chew it at chips like the no shell skittles i've got chocolate as well which i've kept in the fridge for now because it was hot in here before and i was scared it was gonna melt so i'm gonna put the caribou's in this one here so that was lucy's request lucy loves hard labels. so the question is which ones do i mix i might mix the sour ones with the sour ones i think that's kind of like you know that kind of goes without saying oh my god i absolutely love sour patch kids so yeah then i'll put these sour oh my god they look insane i put them sour ones in here i've obviously washed my hands a million times in this process and then i can put these bunnies and uh, actually i might mix those so i've got like, like loads of balls 
so we'll put that in there. And then I'll put these Skittles in there. Oh, that's cute. Yo, I literally love doing stuff like this. Like, there's something about it that just makes me happy, you know? And then I've got buttons and a big bar marker because I can't even actually get it. I'll empty the buttons into there later on. But um, that's my setup so far. So we've got the, oh my God, we've got so much food. <laughs> we've literally got so much food. But I'm obviously not gonna cook yet. It's right now, it is, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> Can't believe I just did that. It's 10 past four. The girls are gonna be here around 5.45, six-ish. So I'm gonna try and make sure the food's like done for them. So while I'm cooking it, I'll come back to you guys and show you how we're getting on. But for now, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Um, I'll see you when I'm cooking. Started cooking the chicken. Um, but I feel like it's gonna take a while. I feel like it'll take like half an hour. It says 25 minutes, but I always do mine longer. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but yeah, I always do mine longer just oh sorry. I always do mine longer just because I'm very paranoid of chicken, like I was saying before. So I'm gonna cook this and I'll get back to you because I don't really want to show you raw chicken. I'll show you when it's like cooked and then I'm adding all the other bits in, but it's going well guys, it's going well. It's just got really friggin' hot in here, so I've opened all the windows, sorry if it's a bit loud. But as you can probably see behind me, I've set out all the stuff, I'm gonna move it all when the girls come. But I had to tidy around, I put the oven on, preheating the oven to put like the loaded fries in there. I forgot I had them, but I'm gonna put them in. Um, and yeah, I'll update you when I'm actually cooking, like doing the fajita bits. But it's just got really friggin' hot in here, like, where did that come from? <laughs> Good morning guys so i thought i would just film a little outro to this video because my camera battery has now died and i want to get this video up as soon as possible so i thought i'd just film this clip to end the video because i didn't manage to end it last night also the filter is needed right now because i'm looking rough i couldn't really sleep last night but anyways that's another story but yeah we had the best time last night i'm gonna insert some tiktoks that we actually did um, before this clip but I just wanted to end it here and say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all your support recently like it really does mean the world to me I'm just so grateful for everything going on in my life and just everything right now like I'm just so grateful for everything in general all the people around me and I'm just loving life but yeah thanks so much for watching guys I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video Bye guys.